We've got defensive back Jalen Carlisle. If you've got questions, please use the raise hand function. Natalie Jones. Hey, you know, overall, how would you assess, you know, how the defense performed today? Um, I honestly feel we um we held our own out there. Um we uh we did a great job stopping the run. Um just gotta do a better job um in pass game wise. But I feel like we came out and held our own, you know, came out with um some good uh drives in the beginning of the game. So I just feel like uh we did a pretty much good job overall. Just gotta finish some things and clean some things up. Eric Blum. JC, you obviously now have four picks on the year. Just is that something you can practice? Of okay, this is where the quarterback is going to throw the ball. You know, just those kinds of tendencies, types of things, where you can be in better positions to get more of those for the team. Um, we have a lot of drills uh, that we do throughout the week. Um, a lot of tips and overthrow drills. So you know, just being um, in different places at, from my position um, is pretty much what we do throughout practice. Just different drills that kind of help me. You know, when the ball's tipping there, just keep running to the ball, and then somehow I find it. So you know, just keep doing those drills throughout the week. That keeps helping me. Dave Matter. JC, you guys tried for the onside kick to start the second half. Did, did you feel like at halftime that you could steal some momentum and could maybe you know, make this game competitive? What was the feel like coming out of locker room? Uh, yeah, we had a good uh, – Coach Drink came in, um, you know, gave us some good motivation coming out into the second half. And um, getting that onside, you know, we thought we got it. That, was, um, that would have been a huge um, – breaking point in the game, I feel like, for us, just, you know, have momentum going into the rest of the game. Emily Liker. JC, with some younger guys on the, ball, on the ball on the offensive side, I mean, did the defense feel any pressure, added pressure to step up this game at all? Um, not more than a need to step up, you know, just more encouraged, you know, because we, uh, we know our situation heading into the week. So, you know, just more encouraging our teammates, you know, our younger teammates who are going to be in spots, you know, they've never been in before, just encouraging them and, you know, giving them, the strength they need to just go out there and play. You know, they play football all their lives. They can keep going right here. There's nothing different. Just keep playing. So I feel like encouragement was uh, the big thing heading into this week with the young players. Mitchell Forty. Okay, so you mentioned being fairly successful stopping the run. Was was that the priority coming into the week? And and how much you know pressure does that kind of put on the back end when you devote so much resources to stopping the run? Um, you know, heading in um, every week, you know, we try to stop the run and pass. You know, it's not really um you know, just one sided. But uh, I feel like we just, you know, this is one of our better weeks, you know, versus a better team stopping the run and um, trying to hold them on the ground. But, you know, passing game wise, just like I said earlier, you know, we just got to keep emphasizing that, just going over that. And I'm pretty sure we'll be good for the rest of the season. Eric Blum. JC, I know you guys have already played nine games this season. What do you feel is left on the table for the team in the final three games? Um, our goal is to make a bowl game. You know, we can't. Um, we can't, unfortunately, we can't win the SECs, but, you know, we can still make a bowl game. You know, we have to uh, get a couple more wins to be bowl eligible, and that's our uh, goal heading into the rest of the season. And a final question from Natalie Jones. You know, Coach Strink mentioned going to a bowl game. I'm curious, you know, what's the what's the mindset like for this team, you know, trying to get there, and kind of what's Coach Strink's message to you guys to really get to that point? Um, finish as a team, you know. Uh, you know, the season hasn't gone how we wanted it to. But just finishing as a, um, a whole team, you know, offense, defense coming together, cheering each other on, encouragement on the sidelines. I feel like um, that's his biggest thing, you know, for us heading into these last three games, be bowl eligible. And I feel like we can do it, and I feel like we will do it. Thanks, JC. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat>